Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly Crumble Cookie Review. Also, happy Eclipse Day. Today is the Eclipse, and you know what Crumble should have done? They should have dedicated a black cookie just for me because then that cookie could have been the eclipse and they could have called it the michael suarez or the suarez eclipse i could have been that eclipse it's all right don't worry about it maybe in 2044 20 more years until the next eclipse i also hope that everybody had a really great weekend let me know in the comments down below what did you do over the weekend this coming weekend i'm actually going to coachella it's going to be so much fun i'm gonna vlog the whole thing and if you're going let me know in the comments down below as well but for now let's go ahead and check out the cookies for this week all right let's check out this first cookie this one here is cookie dough look at those pieces sorry i don't know why it got dark all of a sudden is the eclipse happening already but yeah take a look at it there's some cookie dough pieces some chocolate chips okay so this cookie right here is cookie dough a brown sugar cookie topped with creamy cookie dough buttercream and chunks of cookie dough pieces so excited let's take a bite where there's a lot of cookie dough definitely tastes like cookie dough the cookie is very doughy the cookie is also very buttery the buttercream on top the cookie dough pieces and the chocolate chips reminds me of cookie dough ice cream i think what i really love about the cookie dough ice cream and this cookie dough cookie are the cookie dough pieces i love cookie dough very much and basically the whole cookie tastes like cookie dough definitely a very delicious cookie I'm giving this an 8.5 out of 10. All right, we're off to a great start. Let's go ahead and try the next cookie. This one here has a lot of lemon on top. Lots of lemon on top, as you can see, and it looks like a regular sugar cookie, but let's go ahead and read the description. And look at the lemon on top. There's a very good layer. Okay, so this cookie is called Lemon Bar, a zesty lemon cookie smothered with zingy lemon bar topping and sprinkled with powdered sugar. Oh man, I didn't get any powdered sugar on top. I got ripped off. But that's okay. The show must always go on. So let's go ahead and take a bite. I don't know if you guys remember from last year, but the security guard that always would pass by and always kick me out of the parking lot, he's driving around again. So if I get kicked out, sorry guys, I'm going to do my best to convince him to stay or I'm going to tell him to grab some cookies and review them with me. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. But for now, this cookie right here, this lemon bar, tastes exactly like a lemon square. The lemon topping on top is very zesty, very lemony. I'm so sad that there was no powdered sugar, but the cookie itself tastes like a regular sugar cookie. Very delicious, basic cookie. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. All right, let's try the next one. This one here is cinnamon scone. Check out that topping. Oh my goodness, it almost looks like ice cream. I really wish it was ice cream because it's a very warm cookie. All right, so this cookie here is called cinnamon scone. A melt in your mouth cinnamon scone cookie smothered with melted butter and topped with a delicious scoop of cinnamon buttercream. I love cinnamon cookies very much, so let's go ahead and take a bite. Well, I kind of wish this was kind of spread out a little bit so I can take a bite out of it too, right? Oh, I thought it was going to stick to my hand, but look at this. It, it didn't even stick. Look. And nothing at all. <laughs> oh, there you go. I spread it kind of okay-ish. All right, here goes. Mm-hmm. Crumble was not kidding when it said melt in your mouth type of cookie. Definitely the taste of this cookie has a lot of cinnamon. It's also very buttery. It kind of reminds me of a cinnamon cake or like snickerdoodle cookies, but a very thick snickerdoodle cookie and I love that very much. The buttercream on top definitely tastes like cinnamon. It's very delicious and make sure that when you get this cookie spread this um, buttercream all over. It's kind of it kind of feels like play-doh. <laughs> I think that this is a winner for me in this week's lineup. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of ten. All right Let's go ahead and try the next cookie. This one here is chocolate cupcake. I really love the way that Crumble designs the top of the cookies like this. It's so nice, so beautiful. And now I know the reason why Crumble didn't dedicate a black cookie for me for the eclipse day, because this already kind of looks like the eclipse. I get it, don't worry Crumble, maybe 2044. Can you guys still imagine me 20 years later doing Crumble cookie review in the car? Or will I be a total AI character reviewing the cookies? Man, the future has so much opportunity. But I really hope you guys can dedicate a black cookie sooner. But for now, let's go ahead and try out this chocolate cupcake. It really does look like an eclipse, like a beautiful eclipse one that you actually can stare at without damaging your retinas okay so this one here like i said is chocolate cupcake the craveable pairing of chocolate and vanilla a warm vanilla sugar cookie topped with a luscious bloom of fudge frosting and a pinch of chocolate sprinkles i don't think it was a pinch i think it was a few pinches all right let's take a bite 
Wow, pairing the vanilla and the chocolate together, amazing. The reason I say that is because I don't really like chocolate, so having that sugar cookie down below makes this cookie 50% better for me. But the chocolate on top wasn't too chocolatey, so that's good. It almost tasted like chocolate mousse. It melts in your mouth. This is definitely a melt in your mouth type of cookie too. This cookie was pretty good, but I'm gonna give this one a 6.5 out of 10. All right, here is the last cookie in this week's lineup. This is Monster. Look how scary this looks. Dangerously delicious. Lots of M&M pieces on top, some chocolate chips, and the warm chocolate chip cookie. Okay, so this one here is Monster featuring M&M candies, a warm peanut butter dream brimming with M&M milk, chocolate candies, oats, peanut butter chips, and semi-sweet chocolate chunks. Okay, cool, so I have some peanut butter in here. I love semi-sweet chocolate chip chunks. M&Ms, I'm not really a big fan, but I do love the fact that there's actually oats. I think I can see them down here. I don't know if you guys can. Um, but that's what the cookie looks like. And let's go ahead and take a bite. Here goes. Ooh, there's a big chocolate chunk right here. Mmm. This cookie definitely surprised me because I thought it was going to taste a little bit more like chocolate, but you can taste a lot of oats, you can taste the peanut butter, and the semi-sweet chocolate chunks inside are semi-sweet. I love that. And I think I had like two M&M pieces, so even better. But it's like a combination of semi-sweet chocolate chip cookie mixed with an oatmeal cookie, just without the raisins. And like I said, this cookie definitely surprised me, so I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. Oh my goodness, what a delicious lineup it was this week. Definitely that cinnamon scone and the cookie dough cookie, one of my favorites. The lemon bar cookie was good, the chocolate cupcake and the M&Ms, basically all of them. But that cinnamon scone, definitely get that cookie because it's so delicious, so good, so flavorful. And I love the fact that it's so thick, that cookie, oh my goodness, it just melts in your mouth exactly like the description and very doughy and a lot of cinnamon taste basically like a snickerdoodle and it's thick like i said all right guys so that's the end of this crumble cookie review make sure to stay safe if you're watching the eclipse today definitely tell crumble to dedicate a black cookie for me also check out my vlog when i went to mexico i went to mazatlan with my family and yeah it was such a fun time and i know that most of you have seen it because i've read your comments and instagram messages so thank you very much and other than that thank you so much for watching as always thank you so much for liking the video commenting sharing all of that good stuff and one last thing i want to congratulate Candia from last week's winner. She messaged me uh, over the weekend and she corrected me on how to say her name. So thank you for that because I butchered it twice. And also make sure to subscribe because in three weeks I will be announcing a winner for another four pack crumble cookies along with the cookie plush. Other than that, have a really great day. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys next Monday.